YouTube. Hey, we found another house. We found this off the internet. Somebody uh, wrote a comment and kind of mentioned what, where this was, what road it was on, and uh, appreciate it. Uh, so if you watch our videos and you're the one that told me this was on 726 in Oklahoma, Ohio, appreciate it. We found it. We just talked to the guy's brother, and uh, he's guesstimating this place to be around late 1850s, somewhere right in there. Man, it's windy. But he said it's pretty bad. Um, it's coming down. Unfortunately, it's coming down soon. Yeah. Wow. Good eye, honey. Nice job, boo. See them bees running around there? They've been there a while. Honey, stay back a little bit, okay? So, some the best with bees there at that window. I mean, you can see that. Oh, that will zoom in on this. Who was it? Mason Montgomery. Mason Montgomery was the original. He built this place. Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to be going over here and we'll do an outside of that. That building here it used to be an old schoolhouse. And then what do you say it was? A seed mill. A seed mill. But this is cool. So, this probably would have been what? A summer kitchen? Looks like it. There's a uh, water pump in there. Yeah, I know. I've seen that. I was looking at Sean and Dad. Sorry, the wind is so loud. He said the baseball's all rotted. Uh, there's something there. Oh, uh, there's an old outhouse. Huh. An old shitter. You don't see him anymore. This for somebody we're subscribed to and one of our subscribers knew. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> That's pretty cool. There's a dead animal in there. That's pretty cool. Big ass barn over there. A little outbuilding. I'm get shot of this old water pump in here for you, but <coughs> he said, uh, excuse me, something about uh, the, uh, he thinks the fire department's going to help him take this place down, so, an old water snake in there, so, but it was nice of him, he said, yes, go ahead and take some pictures, this is a shaft, See how it turns now. If that, if I am right about this, okay, it used to come through there. Um, I believe that would have been a shaft from a windmill. One time, see, there's the end of it there. I'm thinking that's what that was, and it would come in. And guess maybe who knows what it was for I would say what it was for was this is a well it was for this pump that shaft yeah I just tell this YouTube that shaft there would actually hook onto a windmill that used to be outside there and it would turn come through here and turn and pump water and stuff for you yeah yeah the old door Yeah, it's all caving in. You wouldn't learn the floor's rotted. The ceiling, which is the upper floor, it's rotted. Wow. 
bad shape. Yeah, he wasn't lying. It's bad shape, see? And then, don't want your phone through, poo. We know you have a habit of that. But what? What'd you jump for? Huh? I didn't hear you. I didn't jump. I hit my hat. That was where you got in the basement. But he gave us permission to take some pictures and film this. Make sure you close that door when you're done. What? Unless there's like the floor is going like this. When you're in here, you get that sensation. Yeah. It's called uh, vertigo. Make sure you close that door. But that's kind of cool. We haven't done a house. We haven't really found any. Cool. So yeah, guys, right? It is pretty rotted, but uh, it's a shame it's going to be gone. So I'm glad we did get some documentation of it before before it's gone. Hate to hear that, but maybe I can just stick the camera in here. They said he'd rather have us not go in because it was unsafe, but I mean. Look how ornate that was at one time, honey. Yep. The, the, the what? Oh, yeah, yeah. See how pretty that was? Uh-huh. The door matched. All original. What was it, something? The du guy's son got it or something? Yeah. And just let it... 70 years, it took you said for it. Took. 70 years just down the drain. Well, it hasn't been vacant for 70 years. 70 years of another house just finally went to shit. But... Anyway, we wanted to document this because it is going to be torn down. And like I said, we are in a little ghost town it's called Oklahoma, Ohio. There's entrance to the barn, the cobalt, and those two big rocks out there into the driveway. But, like I said, so, she's, Pooh's getting pictures of the inside there. I don't want her going in, because that floor is bad. We saw that. So, I need somebody's coming. The car there. Oh, they're just turning around. So, anyway, there's the cobalt again. But, old gas meter thing there big old tree back there a lot of corn around here so all right so we're going to be we're going to leave here and head right over there to that place i want to do a walk around to it like i said the guy said they didn't really brother probably wouldn't want us in it for fear that we would get hurt, and it was pretty bad in there. So, but that's cool that we we did get permission to do these two places. Same guy owns both of them. So we're going across the street now. And uh, hi, Boo. Hello. Haven't done a house in a while. You happy? Yes, I'm very where happy. Where you at? Oklahoma, Ohio. Oklahoma, where it is windy, isn't it? Yes, it is very windy. That's why I'm talking loud. Yes. <laughs> What'd you do last night? Oh, I went to a very scary place. Yeah. Yes. A real haunted place or fake? Fake. Yeah? Was you scared? Yes. Did you scream? I screamed a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have fun? I had lots of fun. So tell YouTube about uh, 
what, what was it, Land of Illusions in Ohio here? Yeah, Land of Illusions. It's really cool. Everybody should go. Where, where, uh, where was it? Um, it's, out, it's in Middleton, Middletown, Ohio. Right off of Route 4. Off of Route 4. Um, they got a lot of different um, houses and places to go in. Um, you're afraid of clowns like uh, Shea Bear. <laughs> we don't need to go there. Uh, they have an insane <laughs> clown thing. They got a uh, swamp thing. They've got a house. They got a haunted trail, but it was closed because it was very rainy last night. But we went anyway. We weren't going to let the rain stop our fun. And, and then and they have what? What else do you do there that you can pay extra for? You it's can 13 pay extra bucks a to go and uh, do a zombie hunt. I like zombies. Shea Bear doesn't, but we didn't do it. So. No, it's thir 13 bucks a person. 13 bucks a person. For just for the zombie hunt thing. It's paintballs, but you get to ride around on a truck and shoot zombies, yeah. I guess. But the other part of it, they had a little bar there. Yeah. And then they had, uh, what else did they have? I see it. Um, a little snack bar. Look at me. Yeah, they had a snack bar and everything, and it was really cool. We had a drink. They have a, a bar in there, too. Bar, bonfire. Bonfire and a big screen that they play videos and everything. So it was really cool. We yeah, had a good time. It was, what, thirty four ninety nine a person? Yeah, but... And it's, well worth it. It is. It you really is. You can go through your things uh, as many times as you want. Yeah, and, I mean, the, the people there were really great, and um, we had a really good time. All right, we're going across the street. Later, Pooh.